What we're going to talk about is something called a first strike tool. Let's say I come up on an animal. There have been times I've found injured animals and I mercy kill them. Roadkill, side of the road and they're crippled from, you know, the latter half of their body and trying to make their way. That's pitiful. So you might need to skin something. You might need to scrape off bark. Uh, what I like to use is what's called a first strike tool. Instead of trying to nap something, we're going to take rocks and we're basically going to hit them together until something breaks off. That looks close enough, like that bone, good enough for what we want. What, what you want to do is kind of evaluate the stone. Quartz is kind of hard to work with. It looks to me like this one is probably going to break off a piece more like what I want quicker than this one will. Some people have, have uh, used a technique where you heat it up in the fire and then pour water on it and just let it fracture. Quartz for me has always been difficult though. Um, for a first strike tool with this piece right over here, that kind of appeals to me some. So I'm thinking that I might use this one as a hammer stone and just make a downward blow kind of somewhere in here. I can see some fissures in the rock. So what I'm going to do is clear a spot so I don't lose my little flakes in the leaves where I can see them. And then I'm going to figure out how I want to strike this thing. And once I get that established, just before contact, I'm going to close my eyes or turn my head or both because I, if you get a fragment of this in your eye, you've got problems. So what what you're trying to do is put an edge on the struck stone? I'm going to strike here kind of at that angle, just like I'm just trying to gently hit the edge of it. So we had some flakes. This piece here, as it is, could be stuck in the end of a river cane and used as a drill bit. I've done that before. So if a drill bit's what you want, that's nice. See right there, I've got a cutter. This is called a first strike tool. Just real simple, bam. Everybody pass that around and feel that edge. I could easily work on a carcass with that. First strike tool, that fast. You need something to cut, so that's how quick it is. And you're welcome to play with that. Just, you know, you kind of eyeball your rock and say, hmm. You know, you, you pick a spot where it looks like it might hit good and break. And when you get your angle right, you get some finer pieces. Here's another good cutter. And there's a lot of artifacts where people have used things like this. You can skin a whole deer with that. Thank you, Wal. Yeah, it would. That one kind of crumbled. Now we got down to something even more fine. Feel that edge. That's almost razor-like. You'd be surprised how fast they can move with them, though. I've seen some ladies that can take this small piece and just work a deer over but they're really? practiced at it yeah you can do just do straight on strikes where'd you see ladies like that <laughs> at a gathering i go to called earth skills yeah it's sharp sharp isn't it i guess so there you go see that's a, that's what we're looking for thin also capable of cutting. There was one class I was showing people, these things are so sharp and laid my finger to the bone doing that. No. Just like when you inadvertently touch a, a knife and I mean blood running, I'm like, see, <laughs> <It works. laughs> I told you. The stuff I do for instruction. <laughs> that little piece. <coughs> yeah, so play with that. It's a first strike tool. It's that simple. Uh, for digging, a lot of times you'll use a stone for that. Just striking the ground and pulling, strike and pull, strike and pull. Like for for your shelters when you were leveling the inside, find one about the size of a dinner plate and just use it to strike into the ground and pull and you can use that for your leveling and digging in conjunction with sticks, things like that. But yeah, for a cutting implement, if you had no knife to do what we did with the white pine, that would work. Anything other than quartz that we find around here that would be good? You no, know, most of the flint that you find in this area was brought in by other tribes. Huh. It was a trade good. When okay. you find obsidian and chert in this area, it got brought here. Mm -hmm. And we would trade whatever for it. Uh, most of the native true 
Cherokee artifacts are going to be out of quartz. Okay. There's uh, quartz artifacts going back 10,000 years in Brasstown Valley. Yeah.